Good morning. Today is another beautiful Monday, and you know what that means. We got to go secure the crumble cookies and try them out for this week. Let's go. We're here. Now we just got to go inside and get them. We got them, and they're secure. So now we just got to drive back through all that traffic, go home, try these ones out. The cookie here is a dulce de leche. This is a spiced cinnamon cookie smothered in layers of creamy dulce de leche caramel and frosting. The cookie you see here is their famous cake batter cookie. It's a cake batter cookie swirled with cake batter cream cheese frosting and mini cake batter balls topped on top. This cookie is the Buckeye Brownie. This is a tasty chocolate brownie cookie with peanut butter smothered in the middle and on top is melted semi-sweet chocolate. Our last cookie for the week is the Maple Oatmeal Cookie. This is a soft cinnamon maple cookie topped with a maple glaze and sprinkled or with a sprinkle of oat streusel. Taste testing. Which one do you want to do first? I'm not a big fan of oatmeal, so can we do the oatmeal one first? Sure, we can do that. Cheers. It's soft. It's got the oatmeal taste to it. I took a bigger bite, I think. <laughs> it's really good. I like it. I'm not a huge oatmeal fan. Well, at least not in a cookie. But I like it. I taste the cinnamon. It's soft. It's chewy. And I taste like it's a bowl of oatmeal. <gasps> you know what would be awesome? Huh. Heat it up in the microwave for probably like 10, 15 seconds. Possibly. The the oatmeal is really good, but what really sets us apart is the cinnamon that's in the oatmeal. You really taste that, and that's what makes this oatmeal cookie probably the best oatmeal cookie I've had. Even over, dare I say it, Little Debbie's Oatmeal Cream Pie. But that one comes with the dollop of cream in the middle. But the maple is what puts it over the top. I'm a huge maple fan. The streusel doesn't really do much for me, but the maple with the cinnamon oatmeal is fantastic. Okay, so crumble cookie suggestion. Put a big dollop of like your your cream cheese icing. Keep it the same. <laughs> All right, one down, three to go. Which one do you want to try now? Let's try the Buckeye. Okay, sounds good. So what was this? A brownie cookie. Yeah, brownie cookie, peanut butter, butter and, and melted milk chocolate like a Buckeye. And this got hard on top. So yeah, you, you can throw it in the microwave and melt it a little bit, or if you're uh, real smart, heat it right when you get it. So, like literally open the box in front of the people there and just start chowing down. Here, you can see what it looks like in the middle. Yummy. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh, that's really good. I'm a huge fan of Reese's. And Buckeyes, That's exactly what it tastes like. Well, Buckeyes have a different taste because of the peanut butter. Reese's peanut butter is specific, but this is really good. It tastes just like a Buckeye. Um, that's a really good chocolate peanut butter taste. It's good. I definitely get like a Reese's, mm -hmm. but on top of a brownie. So that's like a win-win. Yeah, that's delicious. So I, I like that one. Yeah, another one that's that one. really, really good. All right. All right, next one. Which one do you want to do? Two down, two to go. You choose this time. Uh, we'll do cake batter this time. All right. That sounds good. So this was the birthday cake with cream cheese icing and little crumbles of cake. I think I think they had it listed as a trifecta of cake batter. Anyways, cheers. Cheers. We did cheers. Cheers. Thank you. That's a birthday cake. That is a birthday cake. It's sweet, but it's a birthday cake. Like what birthday cake should taste like. The boys are going to love that one. Yeah, they our kids will love batter. that. Oh, yeah. Every time we get ice cream, it's always birthday cake or cake batter. And that's what that is. That's a really good cookie. That is good. 
I liked it. I like that one a lot. Three I mean, what more can you say about a birthday cake? Hey. It's soft. It's got cream cheese icing. It's good. Yeah, they're all good this week. So, I will say, though, I wish there was more color to them this week. There's a lot of... Yeah, got uh, a lot of browns. A lot of browns, a lot of darker browns. Neutral too. colors. But, you know, sometimes you have that, sometimes you don't. I know the, uh, the people that actually come up with the... Uh, Pairings for the week say that they try to make flavors that work with each other during oh, that week. Okay. So maybe that's why they're all brownish. I don't know. Anyways. All right, last one. We know which one that one is, the Dulce de Leche. I'm looking forward to this one. Well, yes, because you can't look behind you for it. Let's go. True. Oh my gosh. That was really good. That was good. I'm a big fan of salted caramel, and the kind of caramel that they use for that is what you would use for the salted caramel. It's really delicious. I like that one a lot. What are your thoughts? Caramel, I mean, you definitely get the cinnamon taste in the cookie. It's soft, it's moist, and I could only imagine how good these were when they actually came in the box and the caramel was still very probably like oozy. Yes. And that extra dollop, what was that dollop on top? Dulce de leche. Oh, even on that too? Yes. Oh, that is awesome. This cookie is wonderful. It's a really good cookie. And now, just like we do every single time, got to finish off with my milk. This time I've got a Grogu snack time cup. So, bottoms up. Seriously. Cheers. All right, now we come to the point where we go ahead and we rank not only the four cookies that we had today, but we put them within the list of our previous ones that we had to see where they, they fall. So with this week, how would you rank the, uh, the four? Okay. So, if I was to rank these cookies from one to four, my least favorite I originally was saying was the oatmeal cookie, but cake batter is cake batter. We've had a previous cup, a uh, previous cookie from Crumble Cookie, and it was the cupcake birthday cupcake. There you go. And that one was better than this cake batter. So, cake batter is number four. Number four this week. I'm giving some kudo points to the oatmeal cookie because it is really good. I'm not a huge oatmeal fan, but I love the oatmeal cookie. I think I would love it even more if it was heated up. Yes. So, tip, heat up your oatmeal cookie and it'll taste like a warm bowl of oatmeal. Yeah, I concur. That's definitely number three. Um, my set, well, that would be second. Uh, that would be third. Well, yeah, I just said third. So my yeah. second. Yeah, what would your second My be? second one would be the dulce de leche. Oh. I love the cookie, but I am a huge chocolate and peanut butter fan. So number two would be the Dulce de Leche, and I concur with that as well. And number one would be the Buckeye. So this week, number one, what I have left of the Buckeye. <laughs> Someone so, took a bigger bite than me. So that's how we rank those four, and we're going to come at you next with how they fall in the grand list. All right, so going through the grand list, we've had them um, kind of take the spots of some other ones that we have. So we have a total of 13 items on this list. And coming in at number 11 was... Oh, cake batter. Yay! At number 10 was... Maple oatmeal. Woohoo! All the way up to number 6 was... Dulce de leche. And coming in at number 5... You guessed it, Buckeye Brownie. So we still got four that are better than it. Those were the ones from last week. So all in all, pretty darn good. It was this a good week. week. They really were all did. good cookies. No complaints. Nope, none at all. All right, now it's time for the boys to go ahead and try out which ones they want. So I will let you go ahead and start. Uh, go ahead and try the maple oatmeal. This one looks pretty good. So what do you think? 
pretty good. It has a lot of oatmeal in it. Um, the maple is really, um, it has a lot of flavor. The maple gives extra pizzazz to an oatmeal, like a cup of oatmeal, and this really does. Well, to a series of like a bowl of oatmeal, it's delicious. Overall, it's a pretty good cookie. Excellent. The other one you have on your plate is the Dulce de Leche. Go ahead and dig into that one. Yes. All right, what do you think? Um, the caramel is really good, and it has, and this, I think it's a cinnamon cookie. Um, it's really good that the flavors combine together, making a really good cookie. The icing on the top, I think it's cream cheese, um, it gives it extra flavoring, so it's um, overall very good. Awesome, thank you. Now for you, uh, let's go ahead and do the cake batter first, but one little uh, tip of information on this one. Last week he ate a cookie and he said it had hot fudge and marshmallow in it. It did not. So this Bitter. week, this week, if he has any weird um, flavors that he says are in it that aren't, I'll let you know. But go ahead and try the cake batter cookie. Right here, cake batter. I like it. But it just tastes like a sugar cookie. I mean, I like the, I think the cake crumbles on top of it. I like that. The cookie is soft and it has a lot of flavor into it. Okay. And now we're going to have you go ahead and try the Buckeye cookie. What do you think of that one? I would say it tastes like a Reese's. I think it's gonna be my peanut butter. I think it's peanut butter. Yeah, it's got chocolate, yes. peanut butter, and brownie. Like, it kind of tastes like the chocolate coating on the on the around the Reese's and the peanut butter on the inside of it, like a good old fashioned Reese's cup. So I, so I actually like them both today. Now, so so you all know. It's not Reese's peanut butter, it's just normal peanut butter. That's why it's called a Buckeye and not a Reese's peanut butter cup. But we know what he meant. So overall, out of those two, which one's your favorite? I would say it would be the Buckeye. Okay, and out of your two, which one's your favorite? It's going to be really hard, but I'm going to say the Dulce de Leche. All right, thank you so much. All right, well, that finishes our video for this week. So, Mom, what, what did you think of everything? I thought they were really good. I enjoyed the cookies from this week. Um... I didn't have any big complaints about them. They were all yummy and good, and I cannot wait to see what the next four will be next Monday. Yep. So, boys, what did you think of yours? They're, They're absolutely delicious. delicious. All right. Well, Mom, want to go ahead and sign off for us? What do I say? <laughs> Whatever you'd like to say. All right. Well, from our house to yours, we will see you next Monday with four new cookies. Yep, unless we come out with other videos, who knows? Tune in all the time. See you next time. Bye! Bye.